G Lynn and Jonathan. So being back in Worcester, what's it like for you guys? Oh, um, it's great. It's always uh, fun playing in front of this crowd. The crowd's always like live, and there's always a lot of people here. Um, it's just great to see the guys that we played with last year and the coaching staff. I mean, love playing here last year, so can't complain at all. Yeah, like he said, like it's really fun to play here and play against the uh, old teammates. You know, it's 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 pretty fun to be here. Anything you guys have been talking to with him? Or is Oh, no, just like um, I talked to Fitzy early in the year. He was like, oh, I hate you not not here, but like it's good we get to play against each other again. It's just um, I think feel like last year over there we had a pretty close team. So just seeing all the guys scattered out, you get to play against them, it's, it's always fun. So. What was it like when you went through the year? You were first there to I mean, I kind of figured it was going to happen. So, I mean, I came over here off getting DFA'd and stuff. So I knew this year I was going to be a free agent. So um, it was expected for sure. Mr. Uh, yeah, yeah, the Wooster fans, the Wooster fans are great, for sure. You were a big hit in Wooster. Everybody loved you in Wooster. I mean, yeah, I love them too, so it's really nice to play here, you know. Uh, it's kind of like emotional too, because I've been here for a couple years too. Yeah. But it's, I feel like I'm still part of the family, so it's pretty fun. Yeah. There was a superstition that we all think after you cut your dreads, the last like five games straight. Have you cut your dreads since? No, I don't, I don't do that again. I love my dreads and I did like two, two years ago last year, I think. I cut it and I was sad about it, so I'm, I will keep it. I will keep it. Last night, that homer, was that like a hate booster on here? Yeah, I mean, I love it. You know, he's, I'm talking to Valdez too, he's a really good friend. And I'm talking like, bro, I gotta to hit a homer here. I mean. I know I play for the mess now, but I know the crowd is loving, it, so it's really nice. You just get salty. Say it again? Your shirt gets salty. Is it? To be honest, I don't know. Oh, the, don't that's know. like uh, for us against Rochester. They, they're like the plates, and we're like we're like the salt potatoes or something like yeah, that. Something like that. Yeah, it's like the battle of the fork or something like that. Yeah, so pretty cool. Um. I mean, it's been it's been great. I mean, it's always fun playing in front of this crowd. Um, as a team, we have some stuff that we have to work on, but I mean, it, it happens. So we know that they swing it really well, so we just got to come out and do the same thing. So how do you get back in the Um, just play. Like, come out and play how we know how to play, and uh, I feel like we'll be fine. You feel like last night you kind of played against yourselves? Was that a good thing? Oh yeah. I mean, it happens. Um, coming off like what well, we got here, what three o'clock the other day, so. Everybody's kind of still sluggish a little bit, so we had a little late start today, so everybody should be good. What was your last celebration? Oh, yeah, you can't beat it. I mean, we were here last year. We played in front of it last year, so it's, it's always fun. So when we found out that we were going to be here in the fourth, we were kind of excited about it. You guys have seen Worcester fans? Um, that uh, we love them and we miss them. We miss them, yeah. We miss them a lot. All right, no problem. You guys.